I have to work today out on a place called Marco Island. It's a little island south of where I live. It's not far. It's only about 45 minutes or so, but I've got to show property there. So I thought for lunch, I'm going to stop off at this place called Snook Inn and it's right there on the bay and I'm going to sit outside and grab a salad bar. So I still want to eat breakfast because I don't want to go there overly starving and then I'll get like a gigantic burger or something because they have really good cheeseburgers and I don't have that worked in this week. I've got some black coffee I'm drinking. It looks like my sausage is trying to burn here. So let me turn that down a little bit. So I mentioned last week we're moving. So we are kind of down to bare bones here. I don't want to just, I don't want to move too many things. So paper plates so that we don't have too much. I mean, that's a little bit of waste, but got to do what you got to do sometimes. Okay, now I'm going to crack an egg on here and that will be my breakfast. So just an egg over medium, zero points for me. The bun is four points. That's one of those Martin's rolls. Not ideal. That's the only thing I had in the pantry. I don't like to take that many points for, you know, for bread, but I'm going to. Then I have one slice of Velveeta cheese. That's one point for me. And I have two Jimmy Dean turkey sausage, which is four points. So this is a nine point breakfast, but to me, it's better than going to this place that I'm going to eat, overly hungry, and making a split decision that's not a good one. So for this afternoon's project, I'm going through my pantry. We are moving and we are very much in a move it or use it position right now. So a couple weeks ago, I had a lot of family in town and we have a lot of extra things that we didn't use or we shouldn't have bought. And But then we also have a lot of things that I can take with me. But some things are like, why did I buy it and do I really want to drag it with me? So that's what I'm doing. I'm going through everything and saying, should I keep or say goodbye to it like this? And see, this is a perfect example right here. Who needs 10 bags of yellow rice? You know who needs 10 bags of yellow rice? Kevin Pastor needs that. I So I'll eat this in moderation, but he must have bought that at Costco and we don't need all of that. So I have a couple of these Choco Rites left over. I do eat those. I'm going to keep those. I'm just moving them out of the way for now. But right now I just have a hodgepodge of things. See, here's my carbonata. I will use that. More rice because, you know, God forbid. We've got some pasta here, but not a ton. Usually I have a whole shelf of pasta, you know, in a past life. Here's some crackers for some chili that I made. And once again, right here. Does anybody need this amount of fake mashed potatoes? I don't think so. I got some Quest Bars that I will keep. It looks like we have a giant thing misplaced here of tomatoes, but of course I will keep those. So do you guys see what I mean? It's like, just like, do you want this or don't you? But it's everything is something that I will use, I will eat. There's my sugar-free Nestle's tucked back there. This is leaving for sure. Those I'm sure are stale. Those are like those cheese crispy things. They're kind of a little bit rich for me. Caramel dip I have not tried yet. This is some spicy sauce that I love. Oh, I want to show this to you guys. I love these. These oat cakes are three points for three of them. 140 calories. They're really good. They taste like a little bit of a sweet biscuit, and I've been using them kind of like as a dessert snack. Yet again, more lilies. I'm going to throw that in the lilies basket, which, of course, I am keeping all that. My peanut butter, some of my, like, vinegars, and some... That's my olive oil. How that got tucked in there, I have no idea. And then on my very top shelf is kind of the things that are very much in moderation for me. A lot of Kevin stuff up there. And I put it up high, you guys, because it's hard for me to reach. These are mine. 
I love these. You can have a lot. These check those out, you guys. I think they're three or four points for 21 or 23 of them. They're delicious. More chips for Kevin. And look at that. Look at that. What do we have there? Hidden M&Ms. Then I've got some of my granola and my little pack of snacky stuff. I've got some rice cakes there. Everything is just a mess. So I think it's really a good time to go through this. Box up what I'm going to keep. Get rid of what I'm not going to keep. Even my spice shelves are kind of a wreck, which I use the heck out of these. My Jello, sugar-free Jello pudding mix, I am down to bare bones. I don't really love the cheesecake. It's not in my top three favorites, but it's all I can find right now. So I have a lot of that. And then I bought these little specialty olive oil and balsamic vinegars. I love those. They're perfect in lieu of some kind of salad dressing or to put on chicken. They're delicious and you only need a little bit. Like a teaspoon goes a long way. So I got raspberry balsamic vinegar, white balsamic grapefruit vinegar. Then the infused olive oils. I got Herbe de Provence and um, basil. So I cook with spices all the time. None of the spices are leaving. Here's where all of my Jello pudding mixes and things that I flavor non-fat Greek yogurt with all up in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have a lot of work to do. 